Well, Christina Maurice, the defense says this doctor was just doing what he thought was right, but prosecutors say he had a callous disregard for the welfare of his patients. He was licensed to help save lives, but instead, Dr. Lawrence Troy now faces criminal charges after three of his patients fatally overdosed on toxic cocktails of painkillers and other drugs. Authorities say the doctor prescribed. Harry Reese's 30 year old son, Michael, was one of them. Do you believe this doctor played a big role in your son's death? Completely. Completely. There's, there's no doubt. In my mind, there's no doubt. Choi was arraigned in Manhattan Supreme Court this afternoon on more than 230 charges, including two counts of manslaughter and reckless endangerment. The charges relate to 14 patients, including the three who died between 2013 and 2016. Authorities say two of them fatally overdosed within three days of receiving high dose prescriptions of oxycodone and Xanax from Choi. Both drugs have the effect of suppressing respiratory. Inspiration, and when taken together are known to heighten the risk of overdose deaths. Authorities say the doctor used to operate out of an office in Flushing. In 2012, they allege his prescription practices changed dramatically, coinciding with tax warrants filed against him for unpaid taxes. Prosecutors say the doctor began prescribing staggering amounts of oxycodone and other drugs, and patients started coming from all over. Prosecutors say they got a warrant to search his office in March 2016 and by June 2017 claim he abruptly left and moved to Wisconsin, leaving his office in disarray. Troy's attorney claims he left to take care of his ailing mother. He pleaded not guilty to charges. Troy's attorney did not speak with reporters, but Reese told us the pain over losing his son will never go away. Every day I wake up with pain. My whole family wakes up with pain. You know, it, it, you just can't, you'll never get over it. Well, Troy has been remanded, meaning he is now behind bars. The judge says he will consider a bail package as soon as the defense attorney comes up with one. The next court date is set for next Thursday. Reporting outside the courthouse in lower Manhattan, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. Okay.